Hi guys, this is my new DCR4 standard, which I've actually freshly refurbished. I'm really happy with how it came out. It's not, you know, it's not brand new, although I've done things that make the bin look like brand new, but you know, there's some scratches, like deep scratches that you can't really get out. But I'm mainly happy with it because of the plastic not being faded. And it's in overall mint, no, not mint, but close to mint condition, because you know, the definition of mint means Something's as new, and this is close enough, but not really there, okay? But anyways, let's take a look at the vacuum itself. So, starting off with the bin. Remove that. The filter is beautifully white on the top. That's not perfect, because um, these plastic lines can actually cut into the filter. But it is clean, though, luckily, so I'm happy with that. There's a bin which I've polished. The shroud is absolutely spotless on the inside out. There's your bin. These DCR4s like to empty out like a jug. There's no bin flap or trap doors, you like to call it, where you press a button and then all the dirt falls at the bottom. This one doesn't do that. Um, this is the second most basic DCR4, with the basic one being green and gray and lacking the clutch control for the brush bar. I mean, sorry, brush control, yeah. It has got the basic pulse motor filter, which is just a pad. Is that like a HEPA filter? So this is the second one up from the range, but it's a really, really popular common model. Extremely common for its time. Anyways, um, taking a look underneath the vacuum. Okay, so underneath the vacuum, we've got the brush bar, which is a replacement. It's a non-genuine type. Um, I don't know. I don't think these are available anymore, but yeah, I've got one luckily. It's it's round so it's less likely to get wrapped up in hair the bristles are stiffer than the original so it's better than the genuine ones and plus it's yellow so it matches the vacuum so yeah win 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 the wheels and the dcr4 the late ones have um the dcr1 style wheels where they're fully plastic no rubber coating and the small glamour cap whereas on the early dcr 4 like this one here the wheels are actually different the rubber coat and the glamour cap's a lot bigger so that's the difference and yeah there's not really much to say about this machine it's so simple it's just a basic dyson um it comes with the dusting brush which is a lovely tool by the way it's an excellent dusting tool i like the design of it and the bristles as well it just works really well and there's your crevice tool which is a Really nice crevice tool. I've got no complaints about that at all. It just slots back into the one. Oh, it's a bit of a faff to put on, really, but yeah. There we go. I've got a spare tool somewhere. Not the, not for this one, but you can borrow one off my DC14. I need to get a new stair tool for it. Yeah, it doesn't match, but that's mine now. Anyways, the handle grip is not too badly scratched up, as is the end cap. The end cap is really weird, by the way. It's just it's just a bulky thing, isn't it? But yeah, there's your power switch. The helpline sticker's got some damage, but I'd say that's like the worst damage there is on the whole vacuum cleaner itself. Now, to remove the wand, you press on this yellow catch. The wand and hose come out. I've cleaned the hose up to the best of my ability. It's not perfect. It's just a bit um, stained. But yeah, you've got two buttons on the DCR4. Hose cuff. So the semicircle one is to remove the wand from the hose, and the round one is to reduce the suction. So see these vents right here? That's where the suction is going to leak out from for better airflow. So, you, so when there's too much suction, you can reduce the suction. So that's a nice feature. Only seen on the DCR4, I think. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? But, anyways, now let's go on to. The valve pipe that comes off for blockage inspection and as does the u-bend so yeah there's not really much to say about this machine it's just a late malaysian dyson dcl4 in non faded condition there is a bit of marking right over here i'm not sure if you can see but there's some uh, deep scratches there but i'm not too phased i'm really happy with it overall but yeah that's the dyson dcl4 standard I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this demo.